Good day everybody, this is Peter from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. I'm going to be starting a little bit of something new today. We're going to be creating new characters and, as you can see from the screen, they're going to be Delta Recruit characters. So just a little bit of an explanation for you. Um, I have always said that I wanted to be doing full playthroughs of all of the um, factions in the game. I've obviously already started with the um, 23rd century Starfleet character here, Pillar Meridian, um, but I'm lucky enough to be around during another Delta recruit event. So it will be silly if I didn't create all of the characters for all of the different playthroughs now. Um, so this is just a little bit of an introduction to that. I would like to explain to you a little bit about how my playthroughs work. So firstly, um, this is a completely free to play account. So I will not be accepting gifts from anybody that sends them just to keep the integrity of the playthrough. Um, I do apologize to any of you. I know people have been sending me things. I really do appreciate it. It's lovely, but I can't accept them for these playthroughs. Um, thank you very much though. Um, I will not be putting any money into the accounts either, it is a completely free to play thing. Um, I also will go through all of the storylines, so I won't be skipping anything. I will be reading through all of the text, I'll read a lot of it out that isn't voiced, but luckily a lot of it's voiced so it'll be fine. Um, and it will not be a speed run of any kind in that way, so I'll be going through hopefully the whole story. I won't be clicking on every single story point, I'm not absolutely crazy, but I will be going through the whole storyline. Um, just so you guys can experience it with me and I think that's one of the strongest parts of, of Star Trek Online so the storyline is something I really want to enjoy anyway and see um, and it will also not be a guide of any kind I'm playing through this for the first time in, in a lot of the, the story obviously when I first played years and years ago the first few missions may have been the same but a lot of it is going to be different so it's not a guide of any kind so let's get on with creating some characters so I'm about to start a Romulan character then. We're going for um, science with the Romulans, I've already decided, because I've got the engineer in the Toss Starfleet and tactical for Klingon. So science for Romulan, I think that's the way to go. I would have loved to create a Riemann character, but I, on a free-to-play account, don't have access to it, which is a shame. So we're going to go Romulan, but I think this is going to be my first female character. Why not? Let's do it. She's going to be a scientist. I like it a lot. Now what can we do with the appearance for a Romulan? Ooh, a lot. I like it. Cool. Ooh, no. Too green. Uh, I quite like the dark skinned Romulans. That's cool. Maybe that one? I'm just going to go for a preset here. I'm not going to spend too long messing about. Oh, wow. Loads of hair options as well. Cool. The Romulans are really fleshed out. I like it. Really good. Yeah, I like the kind of darkness to it. Ooh. I don't like bald. She does not suit bald. Yeah, can we go long hair? I just, for some reason, I just prefer long hair. Is long hair an option? Uh, sort of. Go with that for now. <laughs> I don't think that looks very good, though. No. Oh, that's a bit weird looking. Oh, maybe I'm not a fan of the long hair, actually. I'm not a fan of how this is like skipping left and right as you go up. Okay, that's quite nice. There you go, that's fairly nice. Can we change the head colour? No, I don't want too weird. I quite like the dark actually. Maybe even darker. Uh, maybe. Go just properly black. No, no. Yeah, I like that. It goes well with the skin tone as well. I like it. And I'm actually a massive fan of the outfit already. That looks really cool. What can we do with it, though? Just to see the options? Ooh. Yeah, I like the one that's chosen. Uh, but yeah, bare hands, whatever, that's fine. Ooh, you can change colours. Oh, that's cool. Again, I, I quite like the ones that are already there. The trimming colour. That is really cool. A lot of options for customization here. That's brilliant. Um, how about the wrists? Um, I think I like the wrists that are already there. Yeah, I like that. Some sort of colour. I like the colour too. That looks incredible. Can we change 
This one maybe to more of a greyish? No, that doesn't look right. How about that? I like that. I think I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. But not much. No, let's go back to that. That's fine. Uh, oh, actually, I can change the colours of the wrists to maybe more match what's going on here. There's so much customization here. I love it. How about that and that? Nope. That didn't seem to work. Mm, maybe that should stay. It's weird, the presets are different. So that's a recent colour. They're in different orders, that's all. A bit strange. Okay, I like it. Um, and the colour I could also change. Can I just do all these like that? Yeah, that's cool. Maybe that should be more of red. Reddish. Uh, like this red. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's cool. That'll do. Um, lower. These are the boots. Oh, I'm not sure. Ugh. Just to see what options there are. But I don't think that's the right way to go. Oh, there's no choices. No, not that then. Pants. Why do I keep changing the boots? That's fine. Uh, oh, I kind of liked what was already there. Was that just basic? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. The boots, though. Not sure about the boots. Let's go for something smaller. Not high heels. Maybe, oh, maybe just the ankle boots. Yeah, I think that's what you'd be wearing. Yeah, I like it. I like it. She's cool. She's pretty. Is the hair the good colour? Yeah, I like the hair too. I am happy with that. This is going to be my character. I, I don't know what to name my character. Okay, it's going to be Tapau. No, there's already Tapal. Tapal is from Enterprise. Let's not do T anything. No, all right, let's do a T. To lock. To lock? As in, to lock. <laughs> all right, okay, give me a few minutes to think. Let's try some randoms and see what fits. There we go. Finally chose a name. I found one I liked. Tarleth. It is a slight variation on one that I got by clicking through the randoms. Tarleth. Captain Tarleth. Obviously the RRW, Telsa, will be for the Romulan faction. Let's go, I like it. What we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust. Blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon every world we touch, in our hearts, in yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear, but you will overcome. You will survive and answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid. No loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home. We must face all doubt. We must 
break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan. This is the point we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You will know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. Even if it is not exactly right, the time stream will work it out. Just make sure that you give yourself this. It is our best hope for the future of the galaxy. Turn to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Ready. Two weeks before the Borg attack on Dave Colony. The youngest okay. of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. Twenty-two years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our home worlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day, we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy. And the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar, or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sela. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats. The battles light years away don't affect us much. The Tall Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots and found friends. Today we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, True Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. <laughs> cool. The Romulan cinematic, starting cinematic, is epic. So much better than the Klingon one. It's unbelievable. So much better. I'm not sure I picked the right stance and walk for my character. Didn't really look into that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's actually good. That's probably what I would have picked, luckily. And I like the Romulan story, the setup. Really cool. Like, we're sort of refugees. We've set up this little colony, which is beautiful, by the way. Really cool. I'm going to be quite attached to the Romulan story, I think. I'm very interested so far. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellids chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Kellids in the vines? That doesn't sound right. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellid behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. Uh, okay, I'll look into it. Yes, don't need you. Check. Uh, welcome, Teleth. You have three messages from Avrak. Second and third messages have been flagged as redundant by the system. Play message one now. Please tell me you'll help me. Kellas are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes. And everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. Uh, okay, so I want to listen to the second message. When are you coming over here? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Me around here. No one. They think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. 
Oh, I've got to listen to the third one. Ignore the other message I sent. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. And maybe that's why you're not here yet. I really could oh. use your help, though. These Kellogg's are chewing through everything, and they won't stop. And no one here is even trying to help. <laughs> they just keep bouncing me to other people. First to Tovan, then to Navala, then to you. What's that? Should I ask one of the kids? Just please come here soon. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I'll go help. <laughs> if the Kellids are chewing up the vineyard, you should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I join you, but the chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. I'll see you later. Uh, weapons locker. Where would that be? This is gorgeous. There's obviously the weapons, but this is so pretty. Really like it. Uh, okay, practice shooting bottles. All right, I can do that. Easy. I'm some sort of super sniper. Okay. This is so cool. I like these outfits. I wish I'd have gone something like that, actually. Um, Alright, I've got to head to the farm now. I, just, I can't get over how gorgeous this place is. Best starting area, definitely. Ooh, did you say something about swords? Ooh. I'm still looking for a melee weapon on my uh, other playthrough. Oh, that's a guy. Okay, so the farm's up this way. And there seems to be a lot of red things. Are they the Kellids? No, no, part of the Kellids just charged over here. Abrak. Finally. I mean, uh, which message? Oh, never mind. <laughs> there. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally, we collect nectar from the local Kellidan sites. But something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system. They're flooding the vineyard. I'll start repairing the pipes. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. They're the ones spraying water everywhere. <laughs> Kel, it shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them. Uh, okay, so I've got to drive off the Kellids. I'll handle it. You're all idiots. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't including me in that. Uh, Alright, so there's one over there. Hopefully he's right. It's just, yeah, okay. A few shots. Oh, I don't want to kill them, do I? Should I be killing these things? I guess I have to. That doesn't seem right, though, for the local wildlife. Can we not deal with them in a, a nicer way? More humane. Or Romulane. However you say that. Uh, is there, a, there is a drone. So I've only got to do three of these. Although it looks like there's a hell of a lot. I'm not sure what that's really going to solve. But there's loads. These are all bad killids. Well, the flooding has stopped, but if those killids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. And Avala might be able to help, but she's uh, goofing off again. She knows all about killids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. I'll find out what Novella knows. Good idea. Talk to Novella. I bet she's just lounging around right now. Not even thinking about all the damage being done to my vineyard. No one around here wants to put in a good day's work. Well, except for you. I'm right, right. I'll get going. I love the voice actor that did that particular character is, is really good. I like that. You can actually tell the emotion in the voice. Very good. Uh, so this is Novella, I guess, yeah. Ooh, they're bigger. Infected. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm <laughs> what? Lazy? That I've been... Ugh. He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. Please do. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. 
Um, okay, so I've got to defeat infected ones. I'll see what I can find. Uh, find clues by defeating infected or enraged. All right, let's just see. They, they die really quick. Wait, army roll. How many do I have to kill? They're not dropping anything. Oh, I don't want them to start respawning behind me. Or right next to me, even. Really, they are just respawning around me. That's not cool. How many am I having to kill here? Let's kill an enraged one and see if I get anything from it. Nope. Oh, actually. Okay, something did just drop up here. Is this my clue? Okay, strange sample. Oh, I've done a lot of killing for this though. All right, return. Feel like I did too much. <laughs> this metal has some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. Oh, this is so strange. Uh, something might be happening in the cavern. I'll check it out. You're right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful. Oh, okay, so I've got to explore the cave. Is it down past these? Oh man, they respawn so fast. Can I just run through? But they aggro. Uh, no, they don't seem to. Okay, that's oh, no. Okay, maybe the big, the flying ones do. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, okay, the flying ones do. Uh oh. Oh, and then I accidentally hit another one. Yeah, that's fine. As long as they don't aggro onto me, it's fine. He does though. He was doing some weird things. Okay, this is the cave. There's a lot of them. I've got to go deeper into the hive. Oh, the music's changed. Something bad's going to happen in here. At least they, they really do die quick, so... Not a problem. Oh, these drones don't even seem to fight back. Well, maybe I should stop killing them. Oh, great. <laughs> Unlocking a respawn point in a game is a bittersweet thing. Oh, the... Examine dead ones. Uh, the killer does a large gash across its abdomen. Oh. What the... Hello. Oh. It's like a robot killer. Is this the Borg? Uh, just go deeper, okay. Oh, there's one. Unknown spider-like creature. It looks fairly borgish. Oh, I guess like green is just Romulan as well, isn't it? Can't just take green and think borg. Well, I've assumed I, I have to kill these. Maybe I don't. Maybe I could just run past them like the other drones. Oh, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. They're so scary. He's dying even quicker though. Oh, I'm going into that corner, that's what I need. Leave me alone, drones. We Unknown floating creature, what the hell is that? That looked quite borgish. And this device does to disable it. Maybe not Borg, actually. Looks a bit too decorative. They're all about function, aren't they? Oh, I'm glad it brought me out and I didn't have to run back. That's cool. A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. 
Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. Maori. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. Well, let's find Devex. He's this way. Yeah. I wonder what that thing was. Because it said it was two weeks before the attack on Vega Colony at the very start, so maybe it's linked? Maybe it is a Borg type thing? What do you need with an old space hound like me? Uh, show Devex the strange samples we found. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found mm. were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. That doesn't sound very bog like Maybe I'm totally wrong. May I use your equipment to scan the biological sure, samples? use whatever you want. I remember what we found back on the outpost. Bring the samples to me when you're done, and I can help you determine the results. Thanks, I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Oh, it's just here. That's easy. I like how there were different options for science, tactical, and engineer. I'd like to think the results are slightly different depending on which one you are. I've only seen I'll never know. biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Yeah. Before we arrived. They reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's <laughs> quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. You thought it was related to this beacon? That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. Alachi? I've, I've seen that name. I don't know where. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. Uh, what do we do now? Tell the Maori what we found? That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Indeed. So I'm going to take my findings to the Maori. Mayori? Who is this way? That guy. Mayori Malem. Am I on, like, speaking terms with him then? I suppose this festival will be a great moment for our colony. Yes, it will. Hello, Mayori. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. I guess we're friends then. Uh, that's fine, but we have a bigger problem. Hmm. That mm. does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. It was my honor. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. I'll do that. Thank you, Mayori. Okay. Fairly, um... I'm quite blasé about it all, actually, aren't we? Not sure about that. Not sure I like it. Um, so meet Tilvan Kev when you're ready. Meet him when you're ready, but where? Like, back where? Oh, hail him. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
drink when you're done. I'll meet you there. So I've got to explore the settlement and then meet up with Kev. Hey there. Long day. Let's do it. Is he my boyfriend? I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the tall Shi'ar. Word is someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but me, I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Hmm, the tan. Hello. Oh. <laughs> well, that was quite sudden. I just appear out of nowhere. Okay, so speak to me. Um, and so this is how it begins. I know this is going to be hard to believe, Teleth, but I am you. I've travelled back in time to visit you because what happens here on this night will change your life forever. So... I'm a science character, so I, I'm super smart. Nice try, Tovan. Did you find a hollow emitter or something? No. I, you're me? Just when I thought today couldn't get more strange. I'm here talking to myself. No. Liar, this must be a Toshi our trick. No. I guess this makes some kind of sense, so I'm just going to go with it. What do you want me to tell me? Um. I, I don't know. What would a science super intellectual person say? I guess this one. I guess this makes some kind of sense. Yeah, I go for that. Let's get down to business then. There is a war coming. An ancient race known as the Iconians once ruled huge areas of space, including this one. They had the power of gods, technology far beyond what anyone else had. It took all of the Iconians' enemies rising up against them at one, as one to defeat them. We thought they were extinct. Now we know we were wrong. And they've returned to take back everything that was once theirs. That's where you come in. Why me? What makes me special? You are a hero to the Romulan people and your deeds are legend. But more importantly, you have an opportunity to gather intelligence on the Iconians, their capabilities and their possible plans. Throughout your career, you we, will benefit from the knowledge I'll give you today. When the war with the Iconians comes, the galaxy will have a fighting chance, thanks to what you've learned. That's why I've come back. So I will know what to do. Uh, tell me everything I need to know. I can't just drop everything on you at once. That could cause a paradox. You'll still need to locate all this information yourself. I'll help guide you. How? Take this. It's a Tesseract communication device. It allows me one-way communication from the future to you. There will be updates through that device as you progress through your career. Check it often. I think I've taken up as much of your time as I can. You must not be late to tonight's festivities. Um, thank you. You are now a Delta recruit. There we go. I am now a Delta recruit. So that means in my inventory, I have this Tesseract communicator, which just quickly, basically as you go through the story, I get extra things. We know that from the other tutorials I've done and basically they have the Delta details, the Delta Recruit details that were released by Cryptic. So that's all done. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I will use it. Um, but that is, as far as I know, that's all I need to do to become a Delta Recruit. That's all sort of set in stone now. But I will complete the tutorial. So let's go to Festival. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellet nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled. We have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. Ah. Oh. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was part of the fireworks. It's not. Yeah. W what's happening? I'll help Tavex get the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Boy to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. Did I pass out for a bit then? That ship was 
pretty huge. Although I guess any spaceship will look huge from from the ground. Attention, all guards. Get out of. Very bright. Hello. Uh. Okay. Call Tovan Kev. Uh, it's too late. He's gone. Where are you? I'm at the shipyard with Devex, and we're prepping the shuttles for evacuation. I don't know what's going on here, but we need to get people out while we can. If you can get a rifle, you can fight your way out. Can you make it? Well, I'll make it. Just get the shuttles ready. Um, okay. Can I just talk to this guy? Oh, uh, you get two shot. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. Wow. Ooh. That is cool. So is that that looks like the things, the drones. So is that a Lachi an Alachi ship? I assume, I assume it is. Let's take a rifle. Think it'll just equip straight away, yeah. We need to call for help. We have to do something. I tried to send a distress signal, but they damaged our transceiver array. We still have a chance though. We need to deal with some of the tall shield, and then get a replacement battery. A replacement battery. Okay, I'm on it. But this is just the Tel Shiar. Okay. Interesting. But that was definitely like an Alachi looking thing. Oh man, I need to change my weapon, don't I? This is just the pistol that I was using before. Nope. There you go, that's better. Big rifle now. Ulan. Oh, the little drone things are like popping down right next to me. I feel like one of them could have got me any time now. Oh, is that a bad guy? I'll take the one facing away from me first. Good. And then that guy, he's just respawned. Wow, it really doesn't want me to kill this guy. There we go, much better. Game liked you, man. I'm just going to take them all out. Maybe I could just save the colony by killing them all. Ooh, you're back. Hello. And you. Are these friends of mine? Yeah, kill the centurion. The colony is lost. Everybody run. Uh, oh, okay, I need to be this way. Huh. <laughs> The laser just came out like sideways from the rifle. Laser? Is that the right word for this? Ugh. Oh god. So it is a latchy stuff then. Be careful in the market. It's completely overrun. Is that what I'm coming up to? Yeah, okay. I can do it. It's alright. It's all good. Get to this one first. Standard Ulan guy. Take him out. This is weird, it keeps deselecting things. Not sure why. Okay, so I'm taking batteries out of the camera, it looks like. This is Kev. Do you have the batteries? Hi Kev. I do have a battery, yeah. Just need to repair the device and send the signal. Alright, I can do it. These guys are easy. Is it just that one? Yeah, okay. Let's head back this way. Uh, yeah, that guy. Ooh, I got him. Uh, Alright, let's take these guys out. Oh, and he has a single target. I thought it was a wave thing. Alright, my bad. Send it. Oh, the signal is strong. Get to the shipyard. We're getting out of here. Uh, is that this way? Yeah. Well, this is quite epic, actually. It feels cool. It's very immersive. Definitely very immersive. These the robots sort of coming down right next to me and then not getting me is a bit weird, but Ooh, 
Ooh, bad guys through there. Bad guys here. Can I can I get down here? Do I need to? No. Oh, I pulled some. Oh well, doesn't matter. All right, Kev. <laughs> His name being Kev is quite cool. I get him as a bridge officer. Awesome. Congratulations, citizen. Citizen. Okay, board show. Oh, I feel like we could have got more. Could have got more people out. Maybe. Cool. They, they're not attacking. The Vex showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there. Oh, so the warbird is still in perfect condition, even though the is this like a, a star base around it that's been destroyed. Bit strange that we just leave a, a war word here. Okay, I'll take it. Um, all right, approach and scan derelict ships. Navigation is online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. I'll scan the old ships around here for what we need. Cool. Okay, so as usual in the tutorial, there's no full import yet. That'll come up at some point, I'm sure. Well, this one's for weapon parts. Uh, this will do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Still no full impulse. What do you need to know? Nothing. Sorry, I didn't realise that would stop the ship. Come on. I guess after this one, I might might be able to go full impulse. Normally, just a little bit before you can. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. Will do. All right, let's do it. Ah, oh, still no full impulse. Three kilometers to go, <laughs> crawling along. Okay. Plasma dual beam bank. I do have torpedoes that I can just use. Plasma torpedoes, that's cool. I like it. Let's grab neutronium. We could use that to reinforce the hull of this old wall bird. Let's do it. Uh, three more of those should get this hull good to go. Uh, we're kind of already good to go. We're 100%. Pretty bit of a waste of torpedo there. Oh, a heavy plasma torpedo. That's what high yield does with plasma torpedoes. That's cool. I like it. I think it's safe to say the weapons are fully operational. I agree. Uh, okay, time to take out the Talshiar satellites dead ahead. I can do that. Still no full impulse. All right, then. So these are shielded, though, so I want to... Oh, I've seen this before. I can create a shockwave and like this is just th through combat I guess I get this levels up or builds up and then when it gets to like level 5 I can create a massive shockwave quite cool quite cool let's, um, let's do it out here I'll do it on the next thing I guess do I need to be really close for it to work there? Five kilometer radius. Um, all right, so Great. let's just. All systems are oh. going. Full impulse is back online. I'm 
picking up a distress signal nearby. It must be people from the colony. If more colonists managed to escape the surface. Now let's go save the colonists. The distress signal is close. Searching. There. We have to help them. Yeah, it's just like a freighter thing. They've got no chance. Full impulse. Ooh. Why are there two things behind me? There was another enemy there. Scary. Turn off full impulse. The Toshiar drone dead ahead. I'm on it. Why the heavy plasma torpedo? Is that overkill? <laughs> yep. Oh well. Okay, I can beam everyone aboard. That's good. Now I'm saving some colonists. I figured out how I can improve our torpedoes. Just give me the order, and I'll get started. Scanners are picking up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Good to have you on the bridge, Kev. Well, so maybe he wasn't meant to be here in the storyline to start with. He said I can improve your torpedoes. Maybe it just means that skill. Interesting. Uh, oh, cloak. I'm not really sure why I have cloak. Seems a bit unnecessary. Is cloaking just for like PvP and stuff? Is it completely useless in PvE? Maybe. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. He's burning from the um, plasma torpedo. Yeah, let's do a heavy one on this drone. That should be enough. Done. I like how the um, Romulan warp cores blow up. That's cool. Because they are singularity warp cores. As we all know. Found the elements we thought we were done for. Of course not. Who do you think I am? Oh. But none of these drones have shields then. That's good. There are three of them here though. I'd be in a bit of trouble. Oh, oh, that's an actual Tavaro light war warbird. So the one thing that um, it was a bit silly to use my heavy torpedo on. I just went and did it, obviously. Oh, I got that as well. Good. That is such a cool explosion. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I'll fire that anyway. He's dead. This man. And then beam the last lot aboard. Hail Tovan Kev, but he's on the bridge with me. Why would I hail him? It's safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. We can do a short-range warp jump to get to them. Do you want to go now, or stay here to wipe out any other incoming drones? They look like they'll be coming in to do sweeps in the area. Um, warp us to the next area. Why would I stay? I guess if I want to get used to the controls a bit more. I guess that's nice as a tutorial option. Not bad. There aren't any colonists here. Just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? Well, uh, scan them. We need to know who or what they are. I guess we know they're the Alachi, right? Do we? We need to approach it. Would we really approach it? We know it's aggressive. I don't want to approach too fast. Can I cloak? I can. Of course I can. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's scan it. Oh, okay, great. They've done something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. I think I might be able to get a calm channel up to hail them. What do you want me to do? Uh, open the channel and ask them what they want with our I'm ship. Getting a reply. They seem to be rearranging our words and sending them back. Listen. <laughs> All right, listen. All right, Tovan. I'm picking up another ship. 
This one is Tall Shiar. It's decloaking. Let's get ready for a fight. I don't feel like I'm ready for a fight though. What? It just decloaked then disappeared. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Another little bug. Just a little one. Oh, is the. Lachi were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. When will you colonists learn that no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakiv of the Tall Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim to this colony and all of its inhabitants. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve us in the way you are most suited. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't think I'd just agree. I'm not going to say that. I know it probably wouldn't let you properly do it anyway, but never. We'll fight you with our last breath. Fire weapons at will. Uh, can, can I do some firing too? Or am I completely offline? This is tomorrow, the Romulan Republic. Tell Shiar Vessel, stand down immediately. Ooh, we've got friends. Let's fire that. Let's give him a bit of a burn. Ooh, dear. Ooh, he's pushing me away, good. It's good for me. So the Romulan Republic, did he say it was from? The, I, I guess that was nothing to do with our colony there, was it? They, were they just like a new group? Use this now, because otherwise it's not going to last very long. Oh, I didn't get it. It's weird. Oh, no, I did. Good. It is burning. Oh man, my shields were low. That was low as his. That's a cool ship. You see that? The Deserek. My eye! So the insect has managed to sting me. You think you won? This is not the end. Even now, more of my ships are on their way. And the next time, you won't have anyone to protect you. Ooh, I don't need anyone's protection. Well, I kind of do. I don't want to say that. Don't cross my path again. No, I'm going to remain silent. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm, I'm a very contemplative person. I am Tamer, commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time, given your ship's mm -hmm. condition. Who are you? And what happened here? So explain what happened to the colony. I am truly sorry. This is not the first time I've heard a story like this, and I fear it will not be the last. And these Halachi creatures, they are troubling. We need to know more about them, and why they're working with a snake like Hakib. As I said, I'm with the Romulan Republic. You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists the Tal Shiar make us out to be. With our leader, Datar, we are working to gather survivors oh. of the destruction and fight the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We have a flotilla nearby. If you're interested, we would welcome you and your friends to join us there. Uh, yeah. That sounds like the way to go. I don't want to be part of this war. I guess, again, that's probably just going to force you in the right way, so I will I help you. I appreciate your willingness to do what's right. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. Well, I hope this works out tomorrow. Tamer, roll Essex. I don't know how I feel about this. Cool. But I guess siding with Tamer is better than risking death on our own. And he did help us out with the Tal Shiar. Yeah. The coordinates are loaded up whenever you're ready to go. I think the colonists we rescued are eager to get someplace safe. Okay, so I've got to go to the flotilla now. Let's do it. Yeah, like, if the options are, again, just trying to set up a new colony somewhere else, or joining the Tal Shiar, then yeah, I think, or obviously going with this Republic, then the Republic's the way to go, out of the three possibilities. Cool, so I guess this is the 
Tutorial finished? Let's see. What was that? That looked like an Alachi ship again. Oh. Well, you're invisible, apparently, and I'm half in the floor, so... Commander, our guests have there we arrived. go. Excellent. I'll get them up to speed. There's much to do. I'll be glad to show one of you around while the other stays and talks with Tamara. I'll take the tour and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready. Okay, Tovan. Uh, all right, so just quickly to check, Explore the Flotilla is the first sort of non-tutorial mission all right cool say hello i have new orders for you uh, i hope all is going well with you um, i'm here to join the fleet uh tell us good to see you and tovan kev made it to the flotilla of the new romulan republic to be brief we are a group that was founded by datan to combat the tyranny of empress Sela, Sela, and her tell our goal is to unify the shattered romulan people under a new democracy instead of Sela's tyrannical rule there is much to do, however. I can answer any questions that you may have. Uh, just, I'm fine. What's next? <laughs> uh, what's next is that you receive our uniform and get a tour of the flotilla. After that, you'll receive your first assignment. However, you must understand that by joining us, you mark yourself as an enemy of the Telshar. Well, I kind of am anyway, so I guess that's not a problem. Akiv and his people will see you as a threat, and there isn't anything they won't do to stop you. Are you ready to accept that? Yeah, of course, I'm in. Cool. So good, you should get yourself down to Lieutenant Deletham. Delethem. You can get a uniform from him if you want to change out those civilian clothes. No, I like these. You can also have your ship modified. We can't get you into a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of the Telsa if you want. When you're done, return to your ship. I should have your first assignment ready and sent to your ship by then. Cool. Okay, so yeah, I can get a uniform, ship modification, the standard starter stuff. And we're set. Okay, yeah, so the... Um, first mission then, the Explore the Flotilla, is what I'm going to be on now. So that is the end of the tutorial. That's all. Brilliant. Um, okay, so as tutorials go, the Romula one was far superior to the others that I've played. So the Toss one, actually, the 23rd century one, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but then that was sort of a whole storyline build-up, like the epic arc. The tutorial itself wasn't great, but it was alright. This Romulan tutorial was, was incredible. You can tell this was done after the Klingon one, definitely. Because the, the quality is just way better. I mean, obviously we had that one bug beaming onto the flotilla where I was half in the floor and you couldn't see the person talking to me. But other than that, very nice. Very, very smooth. Storyline's much more engaging and immersive. I like it. I like the Romulan storyline. And I, I think I'm going to like this going, going forward too, actually. I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy Romulan. So I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you will enjoy and I hope you have enjoyed. So thank you very much for watching. But, but by far, <laughs> the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online. <laughs>